Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Aligned with Fiara. Now I'm in Bali. Ngapain lagi di Bali? Ada kerjaan, channeling, healing, cleansing. Cleansing biasanya ngapain? Purification, melukat, some of breakies, and meditation because the energy is good. That's why it's called Island of Gods. Tapi kamu juga harus pilih-pilih di mana dan di mananya karena I would say tempat yang lebih namaste itu pasti energinya lebih bagus. So if you can feel and sense energy, if you wanna do healing in Bali, it's better for you to sneak out for a little bit so you can find a place for you to channel and ground it more. Since I'm in Bali, I wanna talk about releasing emotions because like a lot of people wanna do I wanna heal to Bali, oh gue mau healing dulu ke Bali and the brand and the brand but actually they don't really know what to do how to express their stuck emotion Ujung-ujungnya kamu jadi pergi ke sana kemari, terus nyain semua ajakan dari brands, terus sunset, terus uh, dinner, terus party and after party and whatsoever you know what happened here But then it's always your choice if you think you're okay and then your energy feels is good and then you're balanced enough, you can do whatever you want. But for me, myself, if I feel low, I prefer not to say yes to every invitation. So it's called also self-love and boundaries. The energy here is very beautiful. Love, love, love. Mungkin orang mau nanya kayak, okay, kalau lu healing ke Bali itu sebenarnya ngapain aja sih? Kalau aku, it's actually uh, awareness, for sure. And that's how you want to release your stuck emotion. And then now we're back to how you want to release your stuck emotion and how you want to do healing in Bali. And first, I will do journaling because the energy here is divine, especially some areas. Helps you to connect more about yourself. You can do everywhere. Cuman kalau di sini mungkin it's easier to channel your deep deep down so first is journaling because you have to be aware of what emotion that you want to release why journaling so you can ask yourself and you can talk to yourself through your handwriting it's very important because it's how you know how you feel and what are the emotions that embodied in your body that you don't even know From there, you can see your handwriting and then you can see the emotion. Then you can know what emotions or blockages that you're holding in. Then you can heal yourself better because you know how to switch with the affirmations. For me, myself, I will do after I write my journal and then I just burn it and then throw it to the moon or the air. So it's just like gone from myself, bit by bit. Bakar aja beps. Kedua, I would go to the ocean or I would go to the beach and then I'll just <sighs> teriak sekenceng-kencengnya. It's very, very good. Even though you don't have to go to the beach, you can just like stay in your room if there's no one there. And then you can just shout out and then close your mouth with pillow. <sighs> That helps a lot. Even now I'm doing this, I feel better. I feel lighter. So it really helps, guys. Try it. But... If you wanna do it more divine way, you can just go to the jungle in Ubud or waterfall with purification of cleansing water to shout out so the universe give back blessing. And three, Mother Earth workout. Okay, I'm not a type of person that um, really goes to gym. Sometimes I go to gym, but for me, working out, it's better if it's a fun way and especially you can connect with nature. Banyak sih ada di peranan juga kalau misalnya kamu mau Lari sambil ngeliat sawah kanan kiri terus sunsetnya beautiful. It's like orangey, yellowish, gold, violet, and then you can just run to the tracks with a lot of rice fields with a mindful running. It's really releasing your stuck stuck emotion. It really helps. Other thing I do in Bali, it's like cleansing or purification or AKA melukat. Biasanya aku melukat di Pura Beji. Atau ada juga di Ubud, namanya Pura Tirta Empul. Pasti you guys, some of you guys know. Ini aku lagi mau coba uh, Devi Healing Lights. Nanti aku kabarin gimana hasilnya. Itu juga ada di Ubud, tapi itu lebih ke personal Reiki. Cleansing every chakras that stuck or block. So it's balance your chakra again. Satu lagi yang aku pengen coba di Ubud, lagi banyak tuh blogger-blogger pada ngelakuin juga. I think it also carries a beautiful and divine energy namanya Tridesna Healing di Ubud. I will 
love to try that too. Itu lebih ke purification, reading, uh, cleansing, and blessing. One other thing that I also do here is sound healing. Uh, pernah aku coba lakuin di Pyramid of Chi. Oh my God, it's like I go back to some of traumas that I didn't know it was there. But I feel it was kind of like actually scary at first because sometimes the sound is like mm, like that. But somehow I remember about things that I was scared of. After this session, I feel lighter and better. The sound healing at Pyramid Chi also really good. Next, what I did here, I tried to detox yoga, warm healing pool at Udara Yoga. Udara Yoga juga seru banget. It carries like a really nice, divine, beautiful energies. Dia juga ada aerial yoga namanya. Uh, it's like by the sunset. Itu juga very relaxing. I also sometimes like eat good vegan food here because what you eat also carries the energy and makes your body react to what you eat. Even though sometimes I also eat babi guling, pak malena. Kalau lagi malam-malam kamu lagi bingung mau ngapain daripada nongkrong nongkrong nggak jelas. Me personally sometimes I go to the beach or just like outdoor at your villa looking at the stars. Or if it's full moon, it's so beautiful and the moon is like in front of your face, uh, just do deep and grounded meditation. And sometimes it get me tears. So that's one of the things also if you in a really stuck emotion, you can do a deep meditation and cry it out. Just find something and face things that you're really afraid of. Your past traumas or things that make you hurt so bad or things that make you sad. And then just go dig that emotion and then just ground it yourself. Breathe and dig deep and try to release with your tears and cry it out. And try to understand what happened. Forgive the person even though I know sometimes forgiving is not easy but just think that Not everyone can heal their self. Why not we're healing ourselves so we don't get affected by their traumas or their past hurts, right? So have fun trying, guys. This is a beautiful day. Um, I'm glad I can share these things. If you want to ask more things, you can just comment below. If you want to know more about my journey, don't forget to like and subscribe so we can heal together. Love and lights.